Take a look at this guy. He's a cop somewhere in Illinois. I don't know where, but he works for a sheriff's department. And this is what he posts. His name's Deputy Crow. Deputy Crow posted this video on his TikTok page. In 2024, when there's already issues between the community and the police, right? There's no trust, lack of respect. And in my opinion, this should not have been posted anywhere on any social media. And the fact that he even thinks this way. You're just asking for trouble. You're calling for trouble. Take a look at what he has to say. And then we're going to talk about it. Want to hear about some of my favorite things to do? This is going to piss you off. It's so much fun. So, and it's early in the morning or late at night. Oh, these are my favorite. When you're driving and you're coming at me, and, and, you know, we pass each other like such, I like to hit my brakes. Yeah, especially early in the morning when you're you're running late to work, you're speeding, you know you're speeding, I caught you speeding. I just like to hit my brakes. Get the blood flowing. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about. Get that, get, you, really I'm helping you out if you think about it. Getting your blood flowing, getting you ready for work. I just like to hit my brakes. Scare you a little. Also, when I'm sitting and I'm running speed traffic and I got to go somewhere else, if I want to go to the gas station or grab a snacky or something, I'll wait. I'll wait till you come by. I don't care how far you're back. If you're two miles back, I'm waiting on you. And then as soon as you pass me, I'm going to pull out. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah. <laughs> uh, also, at a stop sign, I'm not going first. I'll wait. You can, you can do, you can do that. No, 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 no. You're going. You're going first. Figured I'd let you in on a couple of uh, fun things that I like to do, and I'm sure others do the same. But uh, yeah. Now you know, or do you? Am I? Are we gonna pull you over? Or are we just? Are we just fucking with you? Which one's it going to be? You make that choice. I can't make it for you. Good luck. So let's get this right, Deputy Crow. You come on the internet in your department-issued uniform, and you say, just to let y'all know, instead of out here actually protecting and serving and doing my job, I'm playing games. I'm scaring people unnecessarily. This is what the taxpayer dollars are paying these people to do. Now, some of you may say, it's just joking, lighten up. I understand it was a joke. It was probably a joke um, that he didn't mean for it to go this far. But it did. And here's why. Matter of fact, he, like I said, he's deleted the videos off of his uh, TikTok page, and he's actually issued an apology which I will play here in just a minute. But here's why, although he probably meant it jokingly, right? Although I believe he does do this. I mean, he does. he's not going to say these things and then they just be something he's made up. I believe he actually plays this game. But here's why people have a problem with it. There are people out here who... Um, have had family members who've had horrible encounters with the police. Just let's well, let's look at the videos. Look at the videos all over the internet of how the police have taken something too far. Take a look at the Sonia Massey incident. She was shot, and her life was ended because she had a pot of boiling hot water in her hand. Um, that that was not. A, a, a deadly force or a deadly threat. There are people out here who are on traffic stops where excessive force is being used. There are people out here who've been arrested wrongfully, wrongfully convicted. People are scared of the police. And I know, I know, Justin, you're a former cop. How can you come out here and say these things? 
Because, man, I'm actually finally glad that I saw the light one day. I always make the analogy that it's like herding cows when it comes to police officers. You just, you're like robots, day in, day out, same thing, over and over and over. And you don't actually stop and think about the people that you are supposed to be protecting and serving and that they trust you. They're supposed to be able to trust you. And when you're out here doing this crap, I mean, I don't know this guy, man. I don't. I don't, I don't know him at all. But I can tell you that there's a lot of people that don't appreciate what he said. There's a lot of people who already don't trust the police. And all he did was solidify that for so many people. Deputy Crow, you got to grow up, bro. You can't be out here doing this. You can't be out here saying this stuff. You, people's lives, their freedoms, their reputations are all in your hands. You have the power, right? You have the power to alter that for people. So here's the apology video that he made. Uh, I won't play all of it because it's really long. There were some people that accused him of being racist. I'm not trying to bring race into this. Uh, but I do know there are some people who have been treated poorly by the police because of their race. It happens way more than people want to admit. So there were some people who kind of stitched his video and said they didn't appreciate it. So he came out and issued an apology. And this was the apology. Okay. First and foremost, I want to address this situation in total, in full. I want to address it to David. The video that you made, I've watched it, gosh, a hundred times, okay? I apologize for what you have been through, for the experiences you've had with other law enforcement officers. You got to understand where I'm from. We don't, I don't play the race game, okay? Because I don't even know... I don't, I don't, that, it wasn't even on my mind when I sent this video, okay? So you, you have to understand that it has nothing to do with race. It was a video that I made. It has, I just, I've quite literally walked side by side with the people who were protesting me and the police because of wrongdoings of other police officers. Trust me when I say that I'm not singling out black people. I'm not singling out anybody specifically because of what they look like, what they believe in, I don't, it doesn't matter about that to me. I'm just not that type of person. If you knew me personally, you would know that. I'm sorry that you had these dealings with law enforcement that has shed a bad light on your view of law enforcement. I hate that. I can't make, I can't make that go away. And for the people in your comments and the people in my comments who've also had bad experiences with law enforcement, I can't take that away. I promise you that if you had an encounter with me, it would be one of, the best, if not the best, any of any law enforcement encounter you've ever had in your entire life. If not, then, I mean, I would, I would be shocked because I give people the utmost respect at all times, no matter what, until the respect is no longer an option. Um, also, addressing the videos. I took the videos down on my own. I took them down to compromise with everyone who has seen issues with it. Um, I didn't mean to do... I didn't mean to, to trigger or do anything like that to anybody. That was not my intention. It was just a video that I made, and it happened to explode and go viral. It wasn't my intention to make anybody upset. It wasn't my intention to, to hurt anybody's feelings or to make them scared of law enforcement. That's not my goal here. I want, I, my entire career, I have tried to mend the bridge. I have tried to give people the best experience they can possibly have with cops, and uh, I've done a pretty good job of that. Now I know this this recent video. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of hate coming. I'm getting a lot of death threats. I'm getting a lot of stuff that uh, is really uh, it's, it's upsetting to me, my family, my friends and colleagues that know who I am as a person and know that I'm not about that that nonsense. Deputy Crow, you can't take that away. Um, now what you can do is help manage the perception. You can help manage the perception of what you said. You may not be racist, and, I, and I'm personally not saying that you are racist. But that video does not make anyone, especially those of color or those in a marginalized community, feel any better about law enforcement 
as law enforcement officers, you know, you've heard this probably since your academy, you are held to a higher standard, period. Now, you are human. You can't be perfect. I'm not saying you were always going to be perfect. You're going to make mistakes. But you were in uniform telling people, telling the world that you like to scare those that you're there to protect and serve. And although you meant it as a joke, to a lot of people it's not funny. One thing you said in your apology is that you claimed that you would provide the best law enforcement encounter, if not one of the best law enforcement encounters. Do you understand how people have a hard time believing that? How you broke the trust of the people. A trust that is already totally shattered. You also said you treat people with the utmost amount of respect. Deputy, it's not respectful to purposely frighten those with the presence of your squad car. Because I can assure you, people are already frightened with your presence. No matter if you're just sitting there minding your own business, people know you're in charge. People know you have the authority to do things. Now, one thing I will say, he said that he's getting death threats. That's not okay. At no point should anybody be threatening this man. Do I think that he should be fired? I'm going to be honest with you, I don't. I think that it took guts for him to come out Number one, delete his video and then apologize for it. I think that's a step in the right direction. But what I do think is you have some work to do, Deputy Crow. We appreciate your apology, but some aren't going to view it as sincere. You have to change your heart and your mind. Feel free to reach out to me, Deputy Crow. Nobody reached out to me when I was in law enforcement. I surrounded myself with nothing but cops. And that's toxic for your mind and your belief system. You have to do better, Deputy. And to all the other police officers watching this, whether you agree or disagree, although you should agree, it's never okay to abuse your power 